In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to create a color palette, and this works for all three versions of Toon Boom Harmony. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go up into our color view right here, and we're going to make a new palette. And we can see we have two different sections. We have the palette section and the section below that for the colors within that palette. So first I'm going to select the plus, which will open up a new window, and we're going to go ahead and name our palette, and we're going to name it bird and hit OK. And now we can see that our bird palette is selected, so I'm going to go ahead and actually collapse that palette. And now we have just one color because, it's, because this is a brand new palette. I'm going to double click that, highlight the word, I'm going to call it inks. Now I have my first color. And now I'm going to actually hit the plus sign again, and I'm going to create a new color on top of that, uh, underneath that. And if I double click that little swatch, I'll get up a color picker window. Now I have a choice here of doing solid or gradient, but I'm actually going to keep it with the uh, solids for this whole uh, project. So using the color picker, I'm going to use the slider and the um, gradient square below that to pick the color, the solid color that I'm going to use. I'm going to go with a mm, brownish, a light brownish color. I'm actually going to name my color in this view, and I'm going to go ahead and call that Feathers 1. And now I'm going to close out the color picker, and I can see my Feathers 1 up here. Now that's just one color, so I'm going to hit the plus sign a few times and create a bunch of new swatches. And they're going to come out the same color as the last color that was recently picked, but Keep in mind that even though these are all the same color right now, they actually have their own individual color ID. So even if I change this new one, it'll actually change and all the rest will stay the same because they're actually their own individual colors. So I'm going to double click on the swatch for new one. I'm going to go ahead and change that to tail feathers. Oops. And I'm going to change that tail feathers to a red color more of a muddy red. There we go. I'm going to close that out. And you can see that that color changed, but the other colors did not. Actually, I'd like that to be a little more red. I'll double click on that and just turn it a little more red with the slider. Now I'm going to go to New 2, and I'm going to change that to a darker brown something like that. And I'm going to close that out. And I'm actually going to get one more color in here. I'm going to go and just name these real fast. You can double click and rename them in the color list. I'm going to call this wing feathers. And if I hit enter, it'll actually jump to the next one without having me having to click it. I'll call this feet. I'll call this one eyes and this last one, Beak. So now all of them are individually named, and I'll go through and finish grabbing and creating the colors for these. As you can see, I can actually keep the color picker window open while I go through and make my new colors. And that's how you create a palette and fill it with colors that you want to use for your scene.